Today, a Waco activist concluded a 24-hour demonstration outside the McLennan County Jail to mark the 122nd day that his brother, Stephen Wade, has spent in solitary confinement there. Fox 44, Shaquille Omari is live in the studio after speaking with the activist. Shaquille, what was his main goal? Newly Broadway playwright Stevie Webb says his brother has been in solitary confinement for the past four months. His message was to highlight how small the space was, as well as bring light to injustice toward mentally ill. I guess that the most difficult part is to suffer like that. I'm only suffering for one day. My brother's been suffering for 122 days. It was all hugs and tears this afternoon after theater playwright Stevie Walker Webb completed his solitary confinement demonstration. Um, I thought it would be hard. Um, I didn't think it would be as hard as it, as it was. On Saturday, Webb caged himself in this six by nine feet cell for 24 hours in front of the McLennan County Jail. The protest live streamed on YouTube. This in response to his brother, Stephen Waday, who was jailed and placed in solitary confinement four months ago. So on April the 22nd, he had a bipolar schizophrenic episode in our front yard. Webb says his family called for mental health support, but instead the police was sent out. The 28-year-old was charged with assault after allegedly hitting officers. All of those charges are connected to him resisting arrest. Now, I think it's lawfully okay for a citizen, even if they're not mentally ill, a normal person, if the cops come up in your yard and try to arrest you while you're seeking help, who's not going to say, don't take me away? For mom, not having contact with her son is taking a toll. I cried for days. I still cry. I was crying. Yesterday was a hard day for me. A part of me is locked up in that cell with him, too. My son's locked up, so a part of me is locked up, too. And Wade is currently awaiting transfer to a mental health facility in Austin, and they say they will continue to protest and fight for justice. Live in the studio, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.